Well, Mother clinging to hope, hope that this satellite image, the one you look at right there, might finally give her answers about the fate of her missing son and other loved ones lost at sea in the South Pacific. Jeff Skrypek live in West Palm Beach with her story. Jeff. Well, Michael, this is where David Dyke and his crew aboard the Nina uh, set sail from on a trip around the world. But uh, the crew went missing sometime in June off the coast of New Zealand. But now authorities looking at this grainy satellite image as a possible way to bring some closure. It looks very much like the Nina. She's What's waited months like? without any shred of information surrounding her son who went missing at sea. But now, Carol Dyke is holding on to this grainy image taken from space that it will give her answers. It kind of gives me a little bit of hope where um, all my hope was gone. David Dyke, along with his wife, son, and crew, set sail for Australia from New Zealand in late May. They never made it, and until now, they disappeared without a trace. I'm in the sitting here every day wondering what happened. And, um, it's so it's hard to take. Search up the coast, 90 mile beach. Authorities in New Zealand confirmed they're looking at the images. A family of the missing say they need action now and closure. If there was some sort of something that we know, whether he's dead, whether he's alive or what, just that we'd like to know. As Dyke waits for any information, she's still holding out hope her son David is alive. Well, knowing my son, there is a possibility. He's come out of some very hairy situations. Now, we did reach out to the New Zealand Coast Guard as well as authorities here in the United States about what is the next step for this search for the crew, but no one has returned our calls or emails. Reporting live tonight in downtown West Palm Beach, Jeff Skrypek, WPTV News Channel 5. Tonight